Good day, everyone. We are going to discuss today combined variation. This is the last kind of variation and this is the last topic in our module 3. Combined variation is the kind of variation that involves both the direct and inverse variation, meaning to say combined variation is the combination of direct and inverse. And the statement Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y when translated into an equation will be written as Z equals kx over y, where k again is the constant of variation. Let us have the different situations and statements that involves combined variation. So for number one, we have t varies directly as a and inversely as b. If it is directly, we are going to multiply. If it is inversely, we are going to divide. Therefore, if we are going to write t varies directly as s and inversely as b into an equation, it will be written as we have t equals varies directly as a, so k a, and then inversely as b, so over b. So again, it is T equals KA over B. For number 2, we have Y varies directly as X and inversely as the square of Z. If we are going to write that into an equation or if we are going to translate, it will be written as Y equals varies directly as X and inversely, so divide as the square of Z, so we will be having Z squared. Again, we have y equals kx over c squared. And then lastly, the electrical resistance R of a wire varies directly as its length L and inversely as square of its diameter D. Let us translate it into an equation. It will be written as R equals varies directly as the length, so it's L, and inversely, so divide over the square of its diameter D, so we have D squared. So again, it is R equals KL over D squared. Let me now show you how to solve problems involving combined variation. We have number one, P varies directly as Q, and the square of R and inversely as S. And P is 40 when Q is 5, R is 4, and S is 6, you are going to find the following. For letter A, you are going to find when Q is R, find P. When Q is 8, R is 6, and S is 9. And for the second one, letter B, you are going to find S when P is 10, Q is 5, and R is 2. And for our second problem, the force of attraction, F, of a body varies directly as its mass m and inversely as the square of the distance d from the body. So if the mass is 8 kilograms and the distance is 5 meters, the force is 100 newtons. So the question is, what will be the force if the mass is 2 kilograms and the distance is 15 meters? To answer the problems, ito pa rin ang ating gagamitin. You are going to translate the statement into the equation then you are going to solve for the constant of variation you are going to write the equation of variation which you are going to use for you to be able to answer the unknown so again number one p varies directly as q and the square of r and inversely as s so we are going to use that statement we are going to translate it into an equation again v varies directly as Q and the square of R and inversely as S. So, what will be its translation? Very good. We have P equals KQR squared over S. And then, we are going to use the first set of given. If P is 40, Q is 5, R is 4, and S is 6, we are going to solve for K. How are we going to do that? Okay, so we have P, that is 40, it is given here. Then we have Q, it is given, which is 5. And then we also have R, which is 4. And then the value of S is 6. So if you are going to simplify this one, we will be having 40 equals 8K over 6. Where did we get 80 K, again, we have here 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. And 80 times K is 80K. To simplify further, we are going to use cross multiplication. So you are going to multiply this one. Obviously, we have here over 1. 
it will become 8k equals 240. Where did we get 240? Yes, we multiply this two. We have 40 times 6, that is 240. And if we are going to get the value of k, obviously, you are going to divide both sides by 80. And if we do that, we will be having k is equal to 3 because 240 divided by 80 is 3. After finding the value of k, we are now ready to write the equation of variation. You are just going to use this translation and you are going to substitute the value of k. If we do that again, then the equation will be, yes, it will be p equals 3qr squared over s. This is the equation that we are going to use for us to solve for the unknown. And for number 1, the unknown is p. Find p when q is 8, r is 6, and s is 9. So this is the given and this is our equation. Again, this is our equation. Let us solve by substituting the given values. So we have p, that is the unknown. So we have here p. And then you are going to substitute the value of 3 here is constant. That's why we have here 3. And then we are going to substitute the value of Q. This is R. That's why we have R there. And also you are going to substitute R, which is 6. That's why you have 6 there. And then we have the value of S, 9. So we have 9 over there. If we simplify, we are going to have P equals 864 over 9. Where did we get 864? 3 times 8 here is 24. You are going to multiply it by 6 squared, which is 36. And 24 times 36 is equal to 864. And if we are going to simplify 864 divided by 9, so we have P is equal to 96. So in this problem, P is equal to 96. For our number 2, you are going to find S when P is equal to 10, Q is equal to 5, and R is equal to 2. This time around, the unknown is S, but then again, we are going to use the equation of variation. Then we are going to substitute. As we substitute, we have P is 10. There, the constant 3, we have here, the value of Q is 5, that's why we have 5 there. The value of R is 2, so we have 2 here, and then the unknown is our S. Let us simplify further. Again, 2 squared here is 4, and then 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 times 4 is 60. To simplify this one, we are going to use cross multiplication, so you have 10 times s, that's why we have 10s equals 60. To simplify or to find for s, you're going to divide both sides by 10, so the value of s is 6. So in here, the value of s is 6. Let us proceed with our example number 2. The force of attraction, the force is directly varies directly as its mass and inversely as the square of the distance from the body. So again, you are going to translate, solve for k, write the equation, and then solve for the unknown. Using our statement in the problem, let us translate the equation. The force varies directly as mass and inversely as the square of the distance. How are we going to write that into an equation? Very good. It will be written as F equals km over d squared. Then if we are going to solve for K, you are going to use the following values. The mass is 8 kilograms, the distance is 5, and then the force is 100. That's why we have 100, which is the force, 8, which is the mass, and 5 is the distance. If we simplify, we will be having K times 8 is 8K, and then 5 squared is 25. Then what are we going to do next, again, is to do cross multiplication. So we will be having 8K and then 25 times 100 is 2,500. To solve for K, you are going to divide it by 8. So we have the value of K, which is 312.5. We are going to substitute the value of K here for us to determine the equation of variation. So it will become F equals 312.5 m over d squared. 
we are going to use that equation of variation to solve for the unknown. The unknown is the force when the mass is 2 kilograms and the distance is 15 meters. We are going to substitute. Therefore, we will be having, what do we have here? We have two, the mass is 2 kilograms, so we have 2, and then the distance is 15. Simplify further. We have 312.5 times 2 is 625 and 15 squared is 225. And 625 divided by 225, that would be equal to 2.78 2 if we rounded off to the nearest hundreds. What do we mean by F equals 2.78? Yes, therefore, the force is 2.78 newtons if the mass is 2 kilograms and the distance is 15 meters. Yes, we are done with module 3. That is combined variation. This is again Manferrer. Thank you for watching.